morning gorgeous welcome back to my channel thank you so much for joining me today for this little art vlog some behind the scenes some things that are happening in my studio there's going to be a lot of painting some business photo shoots and all of those fun things I'm gonna be discussing just some lifestyle stuff and tips for running your art business too so I hope you enjoy and yeah let's get on with the video This painting is one of the biggest paintings I've ever made alongside the birds will sing our song from the previous video and I wanted something that was really warm and fiery and just felt like passion but like you know the sigh of relief that you feel once you've like achieved that big thing that you're going for. So this painting was majorly for a solo show and to see just how far I could push oil paint again. And looking back at this footage, I can see that like I'm still too tight in my brush strokes. And when you're going for something that is more bold and expressive in your work, using big brush strokes is definitely ideal. Just the thick butteriness of this oil paint is just stunning. This color right here, I'm pretty sure it's called Brilliant Rose from Old Holland. Look at how much it's able to hold its beautiful peaks. It just looks so raw and stunning and so impactful. I feel like so many of us artists get so caught up in the idea of perfection that we go too tight and that we do put barriers around ourselves. If this painting taught me anything, it's that we need to loosen ourselves up a little bit, just have more fun in the expression and get bigger brushes. Just use as many large brushes as you can and hold off from using those tiny brushes just to the very end because you'll end up wasting a lot of studio time, especially if you're needing to make a living from your artwork. Studio time is really precious because running an art business does take a lot of time and energy. Sometime in October, I was working towards releasing a collection of originals. So there were lots of studies and sketches, but in doing that many studies, I realized just how important and crucial studies are to creating work that feels more organic and just you because without having the big pressure of having to create this like big perfect painting you're able to actually lose yourself in the process a lot more so it's always just a good reminder to lose ourselves in painting because you know just shutting off any thought or unnecessary words in our minds it just gives us time to really just live in the moment and just exist which is beautiful and anything that we can do to help encourage that in our process is just really always welcome. And here I am adding the final touches of pollen bits to the original final Sweet as Dandelions and I loved that it wasn't just yellow, it was reds and greens and just really expressive and bold and the prints turned out stunning. So here we are going to my beautiful friend Jodie's house. We use her home very often for product photography because it's just so glorious. It's stunning, truly. But I hope that this can give you some inspiration with your product photography. As you can see, like there's a lot of intention that goes behind this. Like everything is very well curated and thought out. Everything that we're wearing is to match certain pieces. And we've like purchased items just for this photo shoot, like the bouquet that matches just perfectly for a little pop of color and just adjusting things, tweaking little like T2 labels on the T just to make sure that's shown off and adjusting the fruit. But like, as you can see, there is so much thought that goes behind all of this. And honestly, you can get away with having some really professional looking photography with just your iPhone. So yeah, I hope you give it a crack and that this can give you some inspiration. To interrupt your regularly scheduled programming, I wanted to share something brilliant that I wish I had known about sooner. And if I did, it would have saved me <laughs> thousands of dollars and so much time, energy, and just effort. This is the Sony ZV-1. This is not sponsored. This is the most incredible camera I have ever used in my life, truly. How nice is that? Oh my God. Girl, this is right? nice. I know. Take a look. It is just so, so, so brilliant. The stabilization is stunning. 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 This is really everything I've ever wanted in a vlogging camera. Yeah, this is worth it. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. With the camera that you're on right now, that's the Canon 6D Mark II, the stabilization for handheld is really just not too great. But again, with how much I have invested in filming gear for like product videos, I bought this gimbal and it's insane. It's the Ronin S. I think that's what it says on the thing. I don't really know. I honestly, ugh, 
this does everything that this and a Canon R5 does and more. So I'm honestly shocked. I'm kind of kicking myself. So if you are looking to do like art courses for yourself and like for your business, go with something like this instead. So again, this is the Sony ZV-1. It is brilliant. I swear by this camera now and I've had it for two days. <laughs> you live and you learn, but yeah, if it can save you money, go with this instead because I, I, I don't even know how much money I've spent on filming gear that hasn't really worked for us and that isn't doing what this does. I'm sure you can expect a lot more videos in that style of like vlog-ish sort of footage and it's just so much more fun to do as well like as nice as this is and like trying to give YouTube a crack like it's it is a little bit difficult especially when trying to film for TikTok and Reels at the same time but anyway this painting that I'm working on is oh, she's like Equinox but like sort of more green reef-y and yeah I'm just really excited for what this painting is bringing and I've done a lot of studies over the last couple of months, finished off some paintings, did more photo shoots and have just been working in preparation for London Fashion Week, which is so exciting. Um, I'm actually collaborating with Gent London and I'm flying over there for this show and I'm painting on um, vintage designer bags which is like so 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 cool I actually bought myself my first designer bag when um, like is I don't recall what it was but it was this big thing in the business but yeah it was just I get myself one when we've reached really big milestones and some of these bags I've like admired for so long and I finally have like you know, a reason to buy them, you know, which is so, so cool. But we got to use them for some photo shoots as well. And yeah, just when you can cross pollinate something that you've got already on hand is just always optimal. Moving on to this painting, as you can see, like getting set up for TikTok and Reels, like it's, it's very intentional. Like I get this comment a lot like, oh, it just looks so free and effortless, but I don't know how many times I repeat a shot before landing on something that is perfect and yeah, but I think this painting, she kind of reminds me of the Metkayina clan from Avatar The Way of Water and oh, I've already watched it three times! I can't wait to go again. I, I was like that kid that would constantly play Avatar in school and I actually taught myself Nut V as well so I could like speak it and it was weird watching this film and people would be like the um the people would be speaking Nut V in the background and I could understand them without captions like some of them didn't even have captions and I was like mmm mmm my first my f not my first but wow just how that hyper fixation kind of like blends into everything it's just oh just it's so cool, but anyway, I definitely am loving this new painting and this new direction and I've learnt so much about oils lately, but I kind of want to go back to acrylic. Yeah. <laughs> So I've sat on this painting for a couple of days now and the biggest thing that's kind of putting me off is this blue in the background. I think it needs to be a little bit more green. Yeah, maybe just a bit more dusty and sage-ish, I suppose. But the gold leaf looks really, really pretty. It might, like, I think it looks a little too yellow there, but all things that we can fix. And yeah, she's got a lot of work on her face to go, but this is a bit of an update. One more really exciting thing that happened is I created some pieces for the Ballarat Wildlife Park for their Tassie Devil Day and I'm really big on conservation and yeah we raised $8,270 for the Tassie Devils and that just so fills my heart so thank you so much to everybody who placed a bid like just it really really means the world. Guys take a look we have just passed 19 thousand trees planted with one tree planted that is just so so incredible oh my god so this is my website i've been working on it a little bit just giving it a bit more of an update for the new year and yeah these are some of our prints that we sell it's just crazy to think like nineteen thousand prints and originals have sold that's crazy 
just to be 100% clear, because I'm very big on conservation and keeping our planet beautiful for all of us and making sure life is beautiful, um, all of the bags that I've purchased for this are secondhand, pre-loved, and they are vintage, so it's just giving them a new life and giving them another chance to be loved in a new way, and yeah, I, I'm a thrift shop girly, that's how I was raised, and I actually didn't even start buying new clothes until I was like, oh, 19, so yeah, it's just important to me. I am just about to start painting for the day and working on pieces for my solo exhibition for the gallery show in May. It's going to be at Compendium Gallery and just make sure that everything is running smoothly. I've got a lot of paintings to work on currently because we are just about to head off to London for London Fashion Week and that's going to be so much fun. I am exhibiting. Come check this out. Come on, come into the couch. So I purchased these beautiful secondhand luxury bags. This is the Lady Dior in small and pink. I love this bag. I got it in the pink and then also in the teal, but honestly, I'm so obsessed with both of these <laughs> colors that like, I kind of want to keep both of them and I don't know which one to, to paint on for the show. Oh my God. I want to show you this that I found as well. This is a painting of Nitiri that I did when I was 10, 9? 9 or 10. And it is just so incredible to see again after all these years of her being in storage and oh, it's just, it's just wild to me. But anyway, she's here for my inspiration to just let me know how far I've come because it's, it, it's taken a lot of work to get to this point. It's a bit much, but one of my followers just reached out to me just like, hey, I saw you running around JB Hi-Fi the other day. And I was like, I was running around, I kid you not, with every single Avatar figurine that I could find. <laughs> and just like bothering all the stuff. Just like, do you have the skim wing? Where's the skim wing? I need it for Tonawari. <laughs> and I just can't believe that someone found me running around with all of this Avatar merch. And I thought it was just hilarious, but check this out. So I have Jake with Turok and I have two Natiri uh, pop figures and then I have some Ikrans and the skim wing with Jake riding it. I have Tonawari, I had the Ilu and Nateam, I have Jake riding the Panalukan or Thanator and then I have the Amp suit. I'm so happy. I've been chatting with a bunch of you guys through Instagram DM about, you know, the way of water and just how like obsessed I am with it and it's... It's so beautiful to see the things that inspire you growing up and just how big of an impact it can actually have on your life. Like, I'm so passionate about, you know, all the things that we're doing, like the reforestation and wildlife conservation and putting a lot of effort towards that. And I think it just goes to show that when you create art that you're really passionate about and what you want to see in the world, like you never know the ripple effect that it can have on a complete stranger. Like somewhere, anywhere in the world. I think that's so beautiful about art and the big reason why we're doing what we're doing. Not just, you know, me and my little studio team, but, you know, you as well. But, yeah. Wishing you a beautiful, beautiful painting season and I'll see you soon. Goodbye.